my name's Georgia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is the last day of haul week. I'm really sad about it just because I really really enjoyed filming these hauls and collecting all these items and basically gave myself a whole new wardrobe to be honest. I've been saying I've been doing it because of YouTube but realistically that's just an excuse for me to go and buy more clothes. So me and the postman are on like first nine terms now so that's great. It's probably going to think this is a crazy lady and she's definitely got a problem but anyway today we've got a Zara haul obviously best till last in my opinion for the store I've got probably not as many items as before in the week so make sure you go back and check out all of my other videos from this week I feel like we should just jump straight on into the video so if you haven't already then please subscribe to my youtube channel I really really appreciate it and if you do enjoy this video then please give it a like and all the links for these will be down in the description bar below. If you see anything that you like, you can go and shop through those. Okay, let's just get started. One, two, three, fuck it. Okay, so the first item, I might as well start with what I am wearing. So it's just this brown cropped long sleeve, but... I don't know if it's just because I'm a very tall person. They're kind of three quarter lengths, but I don't really mind that anyway. Like, I feel like it's quite flattering sometimes when you have a different length in the arm. And I just love this one. I'll show you properly in the try on clip, but I think it is really, really flattering. It is part of the Limitless Contour Collection that Zara do, and I just love that. I own some pieces from there already, and I just think it is so flattering on bottoms, on the top, like everywhere. So if you haven't got your hands on it, then make sure you do, because it is honestly worth the money. Even though the collection is actually really, really affordable, this top was £12.99 and I got it in a size extra small to small. The next item in the haul I have been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time and it has just been out of stock so it is just this reversible gilet and it comes in two colours so I actually picked up both because I'm not sure which one I want to keep so you're going to have to let me know which one you think I should keep down below. And this one is like a stone top kind of colour and then it reverses to the black. So I will show you both sides on in the try on clip. And I love this. I actually picked this up in the small to medium. I wasn't sure whether to get this in the large because you all know I like things oversized. This actually fits perfectly. So I definitely would recommend getting your normal size and not sizing up or down. This is only £25.99 and I think that's a bargain price because they are really warm as well. So if you took like a roll neck or something under one of these, I feel like you're pretty much good to go without a coat. Obviously if it's not freezing temperatures like today because... It was freezing this morning everything was frozen over and i feel like i'm not there yet i feel like i'm only just getting over summer so although a white christmas would be nice but anyway yeah so i love this one and then i also picked it up in the khaki green and i think i actually prefer this side to the khaki rather than the lighter on the outside with the dark color um i don't know why i just feel like this suits me and my skin tone a little bit better and I don't know which one I prefer out of these two. Like, I feel like maybe I'd get more wear out of this one just because it's more of a neutral colour. I'm not sure, but then I feel like this with an all black outfit would look even nicer. So, you're going to have to help me out. I don't know which one of these I'm going to keep. But this one's £25.99 as well. And, again, you're getting two for the price of one. Although, it doesn't come with pockets. Which, I love a good pocket. Which I understand, probably, you wouldn't have pockets on a reversible jacket, would you? No? Okay, yeah. So let me know which one of these I will keep. And again, I got this in a small to medium. The next item is just this cream, bony kind of colour crop top. I actually already own this in white. I got it in my last Zara haul, I think. And honestly, I wear that all the time. And I've actually kind of ruined it with fake tan and things. Like I said in my last video, I can't keep things white for long. So I thought maybe like a cream off-white version might be a little bit better. So I've gone for this one. I'm going to get so much wear out of it. I might even purchase the black one as well. I don't know why I didn't do that this time. But yeah, so I picked this up in a small and it is actually really tight. So I don't actually know what size I got in with the one. I'm going to have to go back and check what size. But I feel like I must have got it in a medium. 
and this one's small because it is very tight. So if you are between sizes, then size up with this one. And this one was 9 99 so again, very affordable for an everyday piece. So the next item is just these joggers. And I've been after these for quite a while, but I'm still unsure yet how to style them. So it's just these wide leg joggers. And they are so comfortable. They are the perfect length in these ones. And they kind of just... They're just a wide leg all the way down to the bottom. And they've got a drawstring on the waist. And honestly, like, I love them. I just don't know what to wear with them. Like, obviously, I'd wear trainers on the bottom half. But then on the top, maybe, like, a cropped hoodie. Or even, like, a top like this, maybe. But it is pretty casual. So I don't actually know if I could style these out and about. Whether they're just, like, lounging around the house in. I'm not so sure. So you're going to have to help me on the styling half of this as well. Because I haven't got a clue. I just really like them. And they are really, really soft. I got them in a size small and they were $17.99, so not the worst price to pay for a jogger that I wear all the time. So we've got another trouser next, and it's just these brown joggers, and when I tried these on, I was expecting big things because I love chocolate and I love joggers, so to get my hands on a chocolate jogger, I was very very excited about it, and they had every other size was sold out apart from the small, which... I would have got normally they're not that oversized so from the actual hips down in the legs they're not that oversized if you do like a really baggy jogger I would size up and go for a medium however if you're over five foot four I wouldn't get these at all these came so short on me they were like three court trousers I don't think they're supposed to be that short or whether I'm just too tall for these because the grey ones fit perfectly. They were a perfect length on me and I'm five foot seven for reference. And these ones, honestly, if you're shorter than five foot four, then that's great because I feel like these would be perfect for you. But they literally are like a petite jogger. They are so short. So these are going to have to go back, unfortunately. So I'm still on the hunt for a chocolate jogger. Great. But yeah, other than that, I would size up in these and yeah, I just probably wouldn't recommend these ones because... The quality seems nice and everything, but they do seem tight on the hips and they're too short. So the sizing, I don't know what is going on or whether this is a faulty pair. But yeah, these ones are going to go back. So I did get them in a size small and they were £15.99. Okay, so the next item is probably, maybe, my favourite item of the haul. And it is just this beautiful faux leather wrap dress. And to be honest, I feel like it's like a jacket, but it's a dress. So it's not like a blazer dress, but it's like a shirt, jacket, style dress. So I'll just come a bit closer, you can see on here. That is the colour of it, and you've just got the wrap just there. And there is also one on the inside as well, to really, really cinch your waist in. And um, when I tried it on, I kind of just like loosely tied it. I wish I kind of cinched it in now. But you can make it as tight or loose as you want. So I feel like this is perfect for meals, because obviously you've got all that room going in there when you go out for a meal and obviously hopefully after lockdown we've just been told that we're in tier three so i won't be going out for meals anytime soon but hopefully in the future you know we can all manifest normal life again hopefully we don't have to wait till next year so this is it i feel like it's the perfect length it's not too long i hate when dresses like this come too long on me so it is the perfect length and I'm thinking to either go bare leg with these and wear some little boots with them or like a really sheer tight underneath with some like chunky boots or even like a high thigh over the knee style boot with this I feel like would look lovely or you can even layer it and put like a roll neck underneath I think that would look really pretty as well. There's so many ways I can wear this. I'm really excited and I feel like it was so affordable. Yeah. So I got it in a size small and it was only £29.99. And I feel like for a dress this good quality, like it's even got the detail just on the sleeve there. You've got the nice buttons and then it just ruches at the back to really cinch you in again. And it's just a really flattering dress. And I feel like for loads of different body shapes, this would be really flattering and would suit pretty much everyone so I feel like it's also going to sell out really really quickly so definitely get your hands on this one like I said all the links will be in the description box below and then the last thing that I picked up from Zara I'm really really confused about so it is just this right this bag right here and what drew me to it obviously was the chocolate and also the gold hardware and I mean I know that bits in the packaging for I feel like it's coming, I don't love it anyway, even though I can't work out how the hell this bag works. 
So I will insert a picture just here for you of what it looks like on the website because I, I, I have no idea how to work it. It's just literally the craziest bag and I actually thought it'd be a little bit bigger. So I don't know if I'm going to send this one back or not because it is a really nice fabric. I really like the gold hardware but I don't know how to work it and I just don't know. I bought this bag from ASOS like you would have seen in my haul yesterday and I don't really think I need two chocolate bags but obviously I did the order at the same time so it was whichever I preferred and I do prefer the ASOS bag so this one might be going back and I feel like it is more expensive. Yeah so that one was £20 and this one was £29.99 so obviously I don't think I'm going to get my wear out of it and I don't even know how to use it then I think it should go back. You know, do the sensible thing, George. Do the sensible thing. Okay, so that is going to go ahead and conclude today's Zara haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't get that many pieces compared to the other hauls. This was the last order I did of the week and I feel like I just needed to redeem myself. But... I will link everything that I have mentioned today in the description box below and if you want to see how I style it then go over to my Instagram which will also be linked below and you can see how I pull these pieces together and style them. Obviously this was the last of the Black Friday haul week. I really hope you enjoyed a haul that I did every day this week. I know I definitely did and my wardrobe thanked me for it. Bank account not so much but there probably will be other hauls coming soon hopefully when Primark reopens I'll be back down there so if that's something you enjoy please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of that and if you did enjoy this video then please give it a like it really helps me out and know what you guys like to see so I'll be back on Sunday with another normal video which won't be a haul but I'm sure it'll be something very exciting I hope to see you in my next video bye